Right. So that's the credibility problem. And that's another reason we're going to wait because you have to hit the reset button after things like this happen. Right, right. Um, speak, speaking of hitting the reset button, um, what's the word on a possible buyout from Quinn Industries? <laughs> well, Jeremy Quinn, uh, this is actually a court case. It's going on right now. It's uh, it's ongoing, and I really have no. I can't really talk about it. Uh, honestly, I uh, I don't really know where it's at right now. Okay. All I know is that lawyers are taking my money, <laughs> and they're saying everything's gonna be okay. Pat, pat, pat. Rub, rub, rub. I have no idea where it's going. Jeremy Quinn is a douchebag, and uh, he's trying to take out from underneath me what I've created. He's trying to take a business away from me that, that I feed my family with. He's trying to take something to, away from me that I love and that I've created from the uh, from the very beginning, from, from, the from scratch. Absolutely. ACW is Brandon Bishop. Brandon Bishop is ACW. If it's owned by somebody named Jeremy Quinn, it doesn't make sense to me. And you got to love a country that will... Uh, allow laws and things like this to happen where you know like yeah. i said though he's a douchebag and i can't really talk too much about it because of legal reasons and all i can say is yeah for now right on um it, now you actually have recently what three shows here in, in the state of colorado um oklahoma and texas previously uh what brought you to colorado like you know why, why the transition Basically, I was pussy whipped. Uh, <laughs> uh, my girlfriend came out here and she had some great opportunities. And uh, to be honest with you, living in Texas and Oklahoma was uh, walking amidst the armpit of America. And I've been saying that for years. And I couldn't right. stand it there. I was miserable in Texas. I was miserable in Oklahoma. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I had good times just like you have anywhere. And I've had a lot of bad times. But it always hung over you. It was like a 500-pound gorilla sitting on your back. You live in Texas. You know, I'm like, oh. Right. Jesus Christ, I live in Texas. And I'm, <laughs> I'm from the Motor City. I'm from Detroit. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to be completely happy until, you know, I can drive down uh, I-75 and see the Renaissance Center. But uh, Colorado Springs is uh, pretty goddamn awesome, to be honest with you. I get to wake up. I get to see the Pikes Peak region. I get to uh, enjoy the thin air and the altitude. And right. uh, I'm having a great time here uh, building a family. And uh, personal life has never been better. Right. right. Uh, the differences between Colorado Springs and Texas and Oklahoma. Texas and Oklahoma, we had a great time. That's where we found our feet. That's where we learned business. That's where we. Uh, uh, that's where we started. You know, that, that, that's that's the home. That's, that's the original home for ACW. Right. And uh, I'll always have fond memories of, of the wrestling there. We uh, started in Oklahoma in Lawton, Oklahoma, in two thousand one, and uh, we had so much damn fun there. We really did. Uh, even guys like O'Malley and, and just the original cast of, of ACW, we had a freaking blast. Uh, when it stopped working out in Lawton, we moved down to Wichita Falls, Texas, and the fun got ten times as much fun. Nice. Uh, that was our golden age. It was uh, at Grand Central Station. I mean, the boys that are watching this right now, they're going to tell you. They, they'll all tell you. That was probably the funnest time in independent wrestling in any of their careers, and it's certainly in mine. Right on. And we... Uh, we, we rocked ass down there. That's where we, like I said, that's where the big hairy balls came. They just grew and they got bigger and bigger. And we got this reputation of insanity and brutality. And we lived up to every single mother freaking <laughs> syllable of that little phrase. And uh, we pushed the envelope and uh, that was uh, the golden age. Towards the end of Wichita Falls, at Tommy's House of Music, uh, it started really sucking ass, <laughs> to be honest with you. I couldn't wait to get the hell out of Wichita Falls. I couldn't wait to get my business, my product. And uh, I have not been able to run it correctly in Wichita Falls, Texas, even when we were doing our best. I could not run it like I wanted to run it. Uh, when we got to Colorado Springs, the sponsors lined up. The city lined up. The community lined up. The press lined up. And everybody was excited to see us. They're like, really? Pro wrestling here? Hell yeah, we'll, we'll participate. We'll, we'll, right. we'll have a great time with it. Here's a hand. Shake it. Boom! <laughs> and uh, that end of it has been absolutely amazing. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. And I got to wish I had a flyer or something in front of me to remember everybody. <laughs> uh, West Side Tattoos. Even Nevada Auto Sales. Uh, Game Crazy. Uh, Hollywood Video. Performance auto parts, shit, I'm going to forget like half of these sons of bitches. The Ad Factory, uh, Frontier Leather, 
look at the freaking website, okay? <laughs> right, right, Don't right. make me remember all right. this off the top of my freaking head. Right. Jesus and, Christ. And speaking of uh, sponsors in the city, um, and in light of what went on with the last show, man, um, it, you know, there, there's always there's there's always two groups of people, people that like help and people that stand in the way. Um, it, I know you don't want to badmouth people or yes, sponsors. I do. Okay, if you want to badmouth some sponsors, <laughs> trust me. Uh, let me let me hear who's who's been helpful and who's been a pain in the ass. Those who know me should know that I have absolutely no problem speaking my mind about anything. Uh, those who have been helpful are the ones I just mentioned. Like I said, look at the website, see all the sponsors. Those people have been absolutely fantastic to Asylum Championship Wrestling, and I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, crew members like Brandon and Ron and Dominic and, uh, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I, I need to make lists <laughs> yeah, next time we do this. <laughs> um, everybody who's helped, you know, put up a freaking single part of the ring or the entrance or anything or set a single chair. Big City Event Center, my God, that place is awesome. Best place we've ever ran by far. And uh, I adore those people up there, and they like us a lot too. And if it wasn't for this stupid City, crap with the yeah. alcohol enforcement, but we would have had an awesome show last month. And probably had an awesome one in October too. Uh, pains in the asses. When we first got here, we were supposed to run at the Palace Event Center, the guy who runs the Tapper Snap stuff. Uh, we've actually have no reason to work out our differences if we have any left. Uh, but he canceled our first show, which was supposed to take place in February, right. two weeks before the show. <laughs> Whoa. So yeah, this isn't the first time we've been corn cobbed with the husk, you know. Right. Uh, so that was the first time. That was the first pain in the ass. Other people, just closed-minded people that think uh, pro wrestling is you know a bunch of bullshit. Well, you know what? Yes, it is. <laughs> but you know what? I love it. And there's about a million and a half other people within the state alone that probably love it as well. Not to mention the entire freaking world. So if you don't like pro wrestling, <laughs> who cares? There's plenty of people that do. You know what? I hate country music. <laughs> I freaking hate it. You know, I hate hip hop music as well. You know that? I fucking hate <laughs> hip hop music. <laughs> Actually, I don't mind any of that stuff. I'm just trying to drive, grab at straws. Only time I really hate hip hop, <laughs> hip -hop music is when uh, it's playing in somebody's car outside my house at three in the morning. Right. Yeah, that's the only time. Yeah, but somebody likes it. That's the point. There you go. Yeah. Um, now, I mentioned before that you started in Oklahoma, uh, moved to Texas, now to here. Uh, any difference, really, in in the, the three different states? You know, not just the locations you did them, you know, big city event center, that kind of thing, but just in the state overall, the, the, the location. Well, in Oklahoma, like I said, you had to be licensed and all that stuff. That was a big pain in the ass, which is one of the main reasons we moved to Texas. In Texas, everyone was closed-minded. Uh, basically, everyone was like, "Hey, wrestling? What are you? One of the Vaughn Ericks?" <laughs> you know, like, yeah, shut up, dude. No, no, no sponsors would line up. Hardly any uh, community or uh, participation or anything like that ever took place in Texas, uh, especially towards the latter years when we were running in a shitty hip hop club. Uh, <laughs> which nobody wanted to go to because some people got shot there, you know, a couple years before we were there. Uh, Colorado Springs, like I said, the, the state itself is hungry for ACW. They need ACW. I've seen every wrestling promotion in Colorado. Some of them are very, very good. Actually, most of them are very, very good, but they don't bring what we bring. They can't put on a show like we do, and uh, they put on different kinds of shows, but... They can't do what ACW does, and we're here to provide such entertainment. Yeah. Speaking of providing entertainment, um, a, a new feature that we're putting out, uh, Pro Wrestling's Shoot Radio, uh, to be launched here very, very soon. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Well, hopefully on, uh, the, 20, on the 30th, I think we're going to record mm -hmm. that, September 30th. And um, it's going to cover everything. It's going to cover WWE. It's going to cover TNA. It's going to cover the independents. It's going to cover ACW. It's going to cover Colorado Wrestling. Some big names like Steve Williams and uh, Dusty Wolf and David Young and New Jack and all these guys are going to be uh, interviews. It's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, I hope you guys uh, check it out.